What is up team? Chuck with Traders War Room and I'm back at you with another video. Listen, this is your Friday market wrap up and man, I might look a little different. I got a little November stash thing going here. I'm going to keep it for the entire month of November and then I'm going to shave it all off. Okay, something we do in the military. But right now I need you to hit that like, share and subscribe button. I need you guys to come along with us on the journey. Listen, check the description tab out. I tell you guys this all the time and very few of you do it, man. Tons of tidbits and tools to make you a more successful trader. The end goal always and forever is to be better prepared today than we were yesterday. And I tell you guys that all the time and I mean it from my heart. Now listen, if you guys are ready to get into a jam-packed video and talk about stocks and see where we did this week and where we're going next week, then all I got to say to you is follow me and let's go to war together, team. Hey, Traders Warren wants to remind the viewer that all content on this channel is for entertainment and education purposes only. You are responsible for every decision you make. Have fun, be cautious, but always, always go to war. All right, team, and you guys probably noticed by now, man, I am posting my alerts through my bot. Now, listen, if you want my bot in your server, DM me and let's get the business, man. We are doing good things, and this is gaining a lot of traction, so hit me up. All right, all three markets were up, and the bond yield stayed about the same that it's been about the past couple days. Some of your movers and shakers, you had Saito being really active, S Triple Q, and PaySafe. Some of your top gainers, of course, Saito was in there, and then you had TISI as a loser, and CBIO as another loser. Those are tickers that I pay attention to. Getting into some news, Tesla shares drop because of Musk selling his stock. S&P Global, IHS wins U.S. antitrust approval. We got a Johnson & Johnson legal liabilities as it plans to split. We talked about that yesterday a little bit. Amazon Worker Group in New York withdraws petition for union vote. And Wall Street ends higher with boosts from big tech. All right, so let's look at this story. Wall Street ends higher with boosts from big tech companies. The stocks closed higher on Friday with market-leading growth shares kick-starting indexes climb as investors look past disappointing U.S. economic data. Investors favor growth over value with mega-cap tech stocks, Apple, Microsoft, doing heavy lifting. Okay, I want you guys to pay attention to that growth stocks over value so we're seeing a rotation in the stock market you got to follow the big money okay we're seeing a rotation in the stock market going from the value stocks back into the growth stocks or some of the speculative stocks so pay start paying attention to these again these are those stocks that move very quickly and are showing growth over the long term so the sentiment might be changing back to a more bullish long-term outlook than the bearish one that we've been currently in and this is one I wanted to talk about a little bit. J&J &J legal liabilities as it plans to split. So J&J &J and uh, some other companies, right, are kind of taking what GE just came out and did, and they're going to split their companies up. Now, this, these have been planned for a long time and things, but they're just coming to light, and they're starting to put some PR about it. So we got to pay attention to these. J&J &J wants to split into like two or three different industries within their entire conglomerate okay now definitely it could have some short-term legal liabilities but i like this plan moving forward i think it's a way that you can capitalize and trim the fat so to say on different departments that aren't performing as much and really focus on making those particular departments grow so i think long term for j and j this is a good idea however short term it could make some investors a little leery on getting in so deep for a long-term investment until they get this thing taken care of so we're definitely going to pay attention to it all right sector performance we're looking at the five day we see materials industrials and consumer staples are up on the five day we see that consumer discretionary communication services and healthcare are down so what does that tell us well we got to pay attention to those 
bottom three for next week to see if we see a rotation in those particular sectors, specifically healthcare because it's been down for a while. So I would like to see some healthcare stocks, um, especially some of those cheaper pharmaceutical ones. I like to see those kind of raise up next week. So we're going to pay attention to a few of those tickers a little bit more than we did have in the past couple of weeks. Energy and utilities still got my attention because they're definitely, you know, oversold. And I think a lot of these will be primed for a spike up. And these are some of your big orders filled by Fidelity customers. Now, remember, Fidelity is just the one I use. You could use any major broker out there, and they'd be about the same. We got Riven, big big talk, big buzz, new kid on the block right there. Tesla, of course, always booming, especially with the Musk stuff. Disney, Disney's the one we need to pay, pay attention to because it's, you know, trending down, and it could be hitting that bottom to where it's about to start spiking back up. S&DL, never really liked that stock, to be honest with you. NVIDIA, that one's a good one. Lucid, PayPal, Saito, Techie, and Apple. All the ones that we usually pay attention to, we talk about on a multiple week-by-week basis. All right, and here's how we ended the week. Now you guys pause this and blow it up, but I'm going to show you certain sections of it, and we're going to blow it up real quick to give a good idea of everything we got into and what we ended up making. All right, now these were all the trades that we got into. Now you can see everything that we got into, what we averaged down and where we trimmed and things of that nature. Anything that we completely got out of the position is highlighted in that kind of that yellow highlight. Trims are in purple and anything we're swinging is in blue. And you already know that green is making money and red is losing money. And I got little, you know, little emojis there for, you know, like making big money, you know, making bank, you know, I'm pissed off about a thing, so on and so forth. We got to keep it fresh and got to keep it new but pause this blow it up and especially the ones at the bottom those are our new trades that we got into for swings onto the next week all right and this is really what matters okay we got into a total of 50 trades now remember a trade is a buy or sell and does include trimming okay we sold completely sold out of 14 of those trades and we are swinging 10 all right Total profit, $877. Total loss, $254. The difference is $623 taken home to the bank. We had nine wins, five losses with a 64% win rate. A little less than I wanted to, but we had Apple that sank. We had a Snap that ended up sinking towards the end. We had Uber that sank, and we had DraftKings that sank, okay? Now, we did make some money on some of those tickers at, because we trim, but definitely they all ended very poorly and very weak ending the week for this particular trade session. Now, we have runners in uh, trimming with some of our swing trades that we're still in at $119, and those will be added in once we completely sell out of position next week. All right, now since we talked about it, let's go ahead and look at the stock, man. J&J, okay? We see that we got a bottom level of support around $158, and we got a top level resistance of $171, right? And then we got some orange in between intra support and resistance. I like Johnson Johnson moving forward. I think we're going to see it trek back up towards the $167 range. And that's why we decided to go ahead and get in the call for next week. And I think we're going to be making some money on it. Now, caution, I would not be surprised if we see it test the $163 range first. But I don't think that we're going to close below that range. And I think once it goes down a little bit further, you're going to see an immediate boom right back up. And we're going to see a lot of buying pressure. So J&J, bullish next week. Snap. You know I'm on Snap, man. I'm going to be on Snap until we make back all that money that we lost from when it dipped from the 70s. But I like Snap moving forward next week. We're starting to see from a recent dip earlier in the week. We're starting to see a nice little incline going back up. I kind of like what I'm seeing on the chart. You know, nice little steady incline. I wouldn't be surprised if we start touching that $54 range into next week. And I'm definitely bullish on Snap moving forward. DraftKings, man, this one broke my heart this week, all week, man. In fact, didn't make no money off of DraftKings this week and lost money, but that's okay. You know, 
we made a killing off of some other stocks that made up for it. But now this is a personal, you know, target of mine because I want to make back what I lost. You know, I don't like to lose in the stock market. So I'm going to make back what I lost eventually. DraftKings, bullish going in next week. I think we're going to start seeing it get above that 140, 74 area. And if we close above there, it's smooth sailing, in my opinion, up into 41 and 42 on its way to an eventual 43 44 dollar range so i don't know if we'll make 44 dollars next week but i do this i do see this thing rising up and i do think that we're going to be making money on our call option that we have so bullish on DraftKings next week fedex man fedex was booming all week man and we made a killing off of trimming on our contract when we got in on the low and we've been riding it up now i got some questions and i want to drop a little knowledge bomb on you guys so the question that I got a lot today was like, man, it keeps going up, but I'm losing money on my contract. Why? Well, here's just a plain, short, quick to the point. Your contract was losing money because the underlying stock was not going fast enough towards the break even point and it was expiring today. So even though the stock itself was continuing to go up and up and up, your contract was continuing to lose money because it had no real value until the stock reaches your break even point or above. So that's why you were losing money on there. Now, you got to get into the weeds on your Greeks and you got to get into the weeds on your intrinsic and extrinsic values when you're talking about options. But that's for another day. But that's the short and skinny to it. That's why your money was losing. Mo that's why your contracts were losing money because there was really no value to it towards the end of the week. That's why you have to trim and ride the waves up on your contracts. Ford. I'm bullish moving on Ford, but you know, this one's one of those that could go either way. Now, I got a question on my Facebook group. It was talking about, you know, you can't go wishy washy and, you know, be bullish one minute, but then talk bearish news the other. And I, I beg to differ. Okay, listen, part of the stock market is being ready, adaptable, and flexible. Okay, now, why I like Ford going forward, I'm realistic to understanding that it needs a cool down period. And it could be this week, it could be next week. However, you got to be ready to jump on whichever opportunity. So while I still am bullish on Ford going into next week, I also am noting that. It has been coming down at the end of this week. The volume has been lowering and that it is possible that this thing will go into 1930 or below and on its way down to $18 possibly. So you have to be ready for those contingency plans. and you got to be able to adapt and be flexible to an ever changing market. So for that guy that left that question, that's why I go both ways. I'm still bullish on Ford, and that's what I'm going to go with. However, you got to be ready to attack, conquer, and destroy no matter which way it goes. KD, this was an odd play, and uh, I liked what I saw on the chart. It did come down a little bit more later on the day, and the volume dropped off, but I do like KD going into next week. I think we're going to see a push into the $21 range, and I think that our $22 call that we have on this is going to do just okay. Now, I'm going to look to get out at any opportunity of profit from the moment the bell opens to the moment the bell closes next week. So anything over our entry point is going to be considered taking profits so i just want to put that out clear in case it doesn't get alert quick enough if you see green consider taking profits on this trade and sofi man man sofi we did pretty good with this one man this hit 80 and we were able to trim pretty hard that was almost a double up on sofi okay and i like sofi moving into next week i think that our put option we put a put on this i think our put option is going to do fairly well with this particular ticker this thing is going to come down a little bit more and we're going to cool off before the next run up in my opinion so sofi i'm bearish on you you know short term i think you're going to pull back you're going to make us some money with our put option and then i'm going to ride a call option back up when you start spiking and trending back to the positive and the upward and up and you guys already know i'm a team player man so let's look at some other of my associates that are in what i call the market coalition all right, exclusive trading, man. They hit me up. They wanted my bot. So if you guys are part of exclusive trading over there, you will see the Chuck Fu trading bot over there posting alerts just like I do on all the other platforms. So exclusive trading, here's your shout out. There's their Discord. 
Go check them out. See what they're about. And Aloha Analytics, man. They got a lot of bots on this particular server. And the people that run their server are pretty down to earth. And they answer their DMs and things of that nature. So definitely go to that Discord. Check them out. If you want a bot on your server, hopefully you come get my bot. Holler at your boy if you do. But there's tons of other stuff over there. So check out Aloha Analytics. And the Old Faithful, you guys know I be rocking with these people all day long and been doing it for a while. Dedicated investors, my boy Brendan, Crazy Machete over there, big shout out. Nexpert is over there too. Definitely go check out Dedicated Investors. And the Chris Sane Discord, all right? We got Chart Zaddy over there. Mario's over there, man. We're doing good things in that pro room. Come check us out over there on the Chris Sane Discord. And you know I gotta highlight my own server, man. Traders War Room, listen, we are picking up steam. We're doing good things, man. I see a lot of you guys over there, man. We're having good conversations. A lot of you are networking. Man, that's my dream come true, guys. A truly one-stop shop for all traders, regardless of your experience and your trading style, to come together, make some money, learn from each other, and get down to business. Okay, so come check me out over there. And I told you guys, big things coming to you. Always trying to improve the foxhole. Keep a lookout for this logo. You're going to start seeing more and more of this, and I'll give you more information. But we're looking at this on 1 January 2022. Now, remember, at Trader's War Room, the, we look at those stock market likes a war zone. The stocks and sectors, those are our battles. We do it together as a team, man. If you want to join a community of like-minded investors that are truly wanting to grow, share, and learn together, not just our pocketbooks, but our brains as well, and our understanding of the stock market, well, then look no further, man. Come rock with us. Now, if that sounds good and you're ready to get down to business, then all I got to say to you is follow me and let's go to war.